Instagram superstar Jack the Wallaby. <laughs> yeah. He's he actually so cute. He actually went missing after getting spooked at an event in Brentwood and he ran away. Brentwood can be a scary place. Well, I mean, know? people are all up in your face wanting to take pictures. Fortunately, Jack was found safe and reunited with his family, a relief for his owner and all of Nashville, really. Yeah, really. Indeed. He's Casey. amazing. Yeah, I love him so much. You too. Casey Haggerty got to hang out with this adorable guy and what life is like as a wallaby. Here you go. <laughs> You don't have to go down under to spot a wallaby. It just takes a walk in the park here in Nashville. <laughs> this is Jack and his owner, Alex, who adopted him. Best of friends for three years and going strong. Well, besides the obvious reasons that he is adorable, <laughs> why do you have a wallaby? Uh, so I used to live in Australia for about five years on and off. Um, and about three years ago, the girl I was dating, she's actually from Australia. And we decided, hey, that sounds like a good idea. So we did some research and found a place we could adopt him from, and we did that. Alex brought Jack home at four months old. He bottle fed him every four hours until he was one. Now, three years later, he's full grown at 45 pounds and two and a half feet tall. He's kind of a mix between a dog and a cat. He's very cuddly, like a dog, um, but he won't listen to you more like a cat. <laughs> you call for him and he's like, no. So he kind of does what he wants to do. When we go for walks, it's him walking me, not me walking him. Alex walks Jack here at Warner Parks almost every weekend, and it draws quite a crowd. We love sharing Jack with people. It feels good to be able to do that, and they, they get a lot of joy out of it. And they can't get enough of Jack. He's got nearly 30,000 followers on Instagram alone. I told people that follow him, and they'll go to Warner Park just looking to see if we're walking him that day. You get a lot of people asking if he's a kangaroo or wallaby, and explaining what the differences are. Like, he's got short little T-Rex arms, kangaroos have big arms. A lot of people ask if we box or we fight. Or He's kind of pear-shaped. <laughs> he doesn't really fight much. What do you love most about Jack? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like his little hands and how affectionate he is. So when Jack, you know he likes you because he'll come up and grab onto you and give you a hug. He'll grab onto your leg, give you a hug, or hold your, hold your arms while you're giving him a scratch. It's just how affectionate he is. He's such a sweet little guy. The easiest way to Jack's heart is to scratch underneath his chin or his, his cheeks. He likes that a whole lot. During the week, Alex sometimes brings Jack to work. He hops around a little bit and then he'll jump in his pouch and kind of hang on the door, which is pretty easy, he doesn't make a lot of noise. On other days, he hangs out at home. And we're off. He's at home, you know, he gets a couple hours in the morning to run around. Manny will come here, let him out some more. Um, if it's a weekend, he's outside pretty much the entire day. Inside, Jack enjoys looking outside. He's very curious about everything going on outside, so he'll go from window to window, checking and seeing what's going on at every window. It's pretty entertaining and playing with his sibling, Pixie the kitten. She'll give Jack a few swats and Jack is very patient and then Jack will pull her tail and she doesn't like that very much. <laughs> it's kind of, he just plays, he's not gonna hurt her. Can he jump? Yeah, Jack can jump very high. So he'll jump onto the back of the couch here sometimes like Jack could down. <laughs> Wait, from the back and he jumps over? Oh yeah, easily. For food, Jack eats grass, a special dry food mix, and fruits and veggies. And for dessert. Things like peanuts or uh, he loves tortilla chips. Jack's a grazer, so these dog diapers come in handy when he's inside. And have you ever seen a wallaby's wardrobe? Started out actually just going to like pet stores and getting dog shirts, and then we quickly realized he actually fits in toddler t-shirts. He has more clothes than I do. <laughs> oh <laughs> no. my gosh! Jack has a better wardrobe than I do too. There's no denying taking care of Jack is work, but worth it. I wouldn't change it at all. You know, I wouldn't go back three years and say, oh, we shouldn't have got him after all. He's a lot of work. I'm perfectly happy with him. They say a dog is man's best friend, but Alex and Jack make me think twice about that. Not just pet, he's like a friend, like he's part of the family. That's a lot of work though, holy cow. Like the diapers and all of it, oh my goodness. So Jack makes appearances all around town from time to time. He is at the full moon pick and parties at Warner Parks and at some of the Nashville Kangaroos games. That's the Australian Football League in town. Oh, that's so cool. Also to keep up with Jack, of course he's on all the social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And yes, he is allowed to be a pet in Tennessee. Okay. Tennessee's one of the, like the few states that allows a wallaby as a pet. There yeah, I know. There's lots of things to go to consider before you get one. Right? Seriously. There's a lot of care, probably a lot of expenses, space, all yes. that sort of stuff. Yes. So anyway, seek advice if you're going to get an exotic animal. By the way, the collar around his neck was GPS. GPS collar. We thought maybe Jack was getting a little shock here and there. Yeah, no, no, no that's a GPS, GPS collar. So we're glad he's home safe and look for him at Warner Parks.